Welcome back to another video. Today we're starting XN this week. I know what you're gonna say. You've already done XN this week. I know, okay. We're gonna be relaunching it. So if you do enjoy this series being brought back, you know what to do. Make sure you like. If we get to 20 likes, then I'll officially bring it back every week. Obviously, if it starts to decline, we'll just remove it. But yeah, if you do enjoy it, please let me know. If you would also like a chance to win a shout out in any of these XN this weeks, all you have to do is join my Discord and message me a topic you think should be included for XN this week. It could literally be anything as long as it's an interesting topic and I'll make sure you get a little shout out in the video. Video. But yeah, let's get into it. The first topic we're going to be covering is the new YouTube Shorts Fund, which they recently released. It's basically a hundred million um, dollar like fund for any creator. So even if you're not monetized, you can still get some money from it. And um, the way it works is you post a fund, or less to be as original, and you make it with YouTube Shorts. And at the end of every month, they will send emails to various creators, even if they are under subscribers or they only have like a hundred or ten. But if that Shorts does really well, they can earn some money up to ten thousand uh, US dollars. So it's a very cool thing they've added. I reckon they've added this obviously um, boost the shorts and try and get some more originality to it because a lot of moment on the shorts is just reposts from TikTok and I think this is a great idea and also another way for people to um, make money off of YouTube and yeah it's a nice little fun they've created I might be using it I'm not too sure but if I do you'll know about it yeah that's basically what the YouTube shorts fund is and remember there are no requirements for this as long as you're original and you stay in the YouTube guidelines you can um, you can you can be part of this it's, it's a very cool fund KSI last Friday released a song with Lil Wayne. The song was very sick. And also, um, KSI made a little um, TikTok about his video, basically clowning Jake Paul. I'll play it now. Jake Paul's idol is Lil Wayne. So I went ahead and made a song with his idol. Me knowing Jake Paul will never make a song with his idol. And that's why we love KSI. <laughs> Something else I want to cover is where Fearless is. Fearless is a uh, Fortnite YouTuber. Well, he started off with Black Ops and doing trick shots, snipers, and then went to Fortnite and blew up. You've probably heard of him. Each video has got millions and millions of views, but he's been gone for like a year and a half now. I want to know where he is because I've been watching his videos again recently. I just miss, miss his videos. It's like, it's like watching a film in 10 minutes. His videos are great. Fearless, I know you're probably not watching this, but come back, mate. We need you. <laughs> we need to make Fortnite good again. In other news, Jake Paul thought it'd be a good idea to, to launch an event called Boxing Bullies. Now, obviously, he's a, box, he's a bully boxing, so you can already tell in it he mentions... This has been a dream of mine since I was a kid. Since I can even remember, I've always wanted to help out, give back. I was always volunteering, always, you know, handing out meals to the homeless during Thanksgiving. Just trying to get involved in the community and do as much as possible. Now, you can take this for what you want. Um, being known as the internet bully isn't a great thing about holding a boxing bullies event, kind of doesn't really make sense. Now, obviously, you've got to give him a bit of, you know, room to try and change his ways, but he's still a dickhead to me either way, so whatever he does, he's probably still a dickhead. The last thing I want to go over is the Ali Lottie interview, which is Juice World's girlfriend. Obviously, Juice World isn't here with us anymore. Rest in peace to him. I listen to a lot of his music. Uh, his new album's coming out soon called The Party Never Ends, and I'm definitely going to be listening to it out. But um, Ali Lottie did an interview with No Jumper, where people like Lil Yatty, Lil Pump have been on that podcast, XXS Tentacion, and it's, it, it's very cool, and you can learn a lot about Juice World and their relationship with Ali Lottie. Um, but yeah, it's a very cool podcast. Now, this is it for XN this week. I thought I'd leave it on there. Um, and yeah, if you have any ideas for any sort of topics I should cover in this and you'll hear my opinion, you know what to do. Join the Discord. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you so much. Come on.